a prequel series about NCIS centering on a character that fans love. The network chose to continue the franchise by releasing the prequel series Young Sheldon when the phenomenally popular CBS sitcom The Big Bang Theory was about to end. Since that spinoff has been such a big hit, it appears that CBS is attempting to breathe new life into the stale police procedural NCIS by developing a prequel series called NCIS, Origins that centers on a teenage Jethro Gibbs. Mark Harmon, the original actor of Gibbs, will serve as the show's narrator as we follow his experiences when he joined the NCIS as a special agent in 1991. Camp Pendleton will serve as the entirely new backdrop for this NCIS prequel. In this series, Gibbs will be portrayed as a wet-behind-the-ears rookie who needs to prove himself to a brand-new team rather than the assured team leader that we are accustomed to. The new squad will be overseen by Mike Franks, who was originally portrayed by Muse Watson on the original NCIS, which will please longtime franchise fans. Naturally, given that Mark Harmon departed NCIS after season 19, some of those devoted viewers could be taken aback by his return to the role of Gibbs. Harmon is still highly interested in the future of the franchise, though, and he continues to serve as executive producer on the show that first made him famous. It's interesting to note that if Harmon's family hadn't pitched the prequel series to CBS, it probably would never have been approved. In reality, it was Seen Harmon, Mark Harmon's son, who presented the network with the concept of an NCIS prequel that would center on young Gibbs. Longtime viewers are aware that Seen Harmon appeared in NCIS as a younger version of his father, but he will not be voicing Gibbs in this prequel. Rather, he will function as the show's executive producer, and CBS will soon start casting the program. Even though Mark Harmon will be narrating the series, we don't know anything about the cast, but we're sure the NCIS prequel will retain the feel and spirit of the original program. This is due to the fact that the pilot was written by David J. North and Gina Lucida Monreal, who have been co-showrunners of the venerable police procedural NCIS for more than 10 years. Since these two will now co-showrun NCIS, Origins, it makes sense that fans of the original NCIS who loved binge-watching the show's ambitious prequel will also appreciate this one. Cynics might be irritated that we're getting another NCIS spin-off, but the plain fact is that CBS has had a lot of success with this. In addition to the five prior NCIS spin-offs, the original NCIS was also a JG spin-off. The network used NCIS to refine its spin-off formula, and young Sheldon's popularity indicates that viewers are willing to watch prequels that center on the younger selves of well-known characters. It's likely that NCIS Origins will be another huge hit for the network. In the unlikely event that it isn't, we'll just have to hope that CBS chooses to inflate ratings by showing us a confrontation between young Sheldon and young Gibbs. We might start calling each other Bazinga in the workplace if Sheldon, as in Batman v Superman, ends up bashing Gibbs' skull against a toilet. Mark Harmon offers great expectations for the highly anticipated sequel. Jamie Lee Curtis felt prepared to take on the world after winning her first Academy Award for her role in Everything Everywhere All at Once the previous year. Although she has often played Laurie Strode in the Halloween film series, fans are now hoping to see her reunited with Lindsay Lohan in a follow-up to Freaky Friday. The actress expressed her readiness to work on the project, and Curtis's Freaky Friday co-star Mark Harmon recently stated that there's a strong chance the movie would get made during an interview on The Kelly Clarkson Show. During their conversation with Clarkson on Monday's show, Mark Harmon and the presenter praised Jamie Lee Curtis's skills before the actor shared his belief that a sequel to Freaky Friday was imminent. It will happen if Jamie Lee Curtis is talking about it, according to Harmon, since everything happens. Adding that he's known the actress since she was 15, Harmon hinted that her passion for making things happen was just what a Freaky Friday sequel needed to get off the ground. Recently, Mark Harmon has been seeing a flashback to his own history as the 1987 movie Summer School has been resurfacing in theaters. The cult film, directed by Carl Reiner, The Man with Two Brains, rewrote the narrative so that teachers were the ones bored and students were the ones who were over their classes. The movie centers on Harmon's character Freddie Shoup, a gym teacher who longs for summer but must remain in the area for summer school over the break in order to avoid losing his job. 
Mark Harmon is the highly identifiable face of the beloved crime procedural series NCIS, which goes beyond summer school. Harmon played SSA Leroy Jeffro Gibbs for nearly 20 years. In recent years, he has made cameo appearances in the role. He got the role in Freaky Friday right at the start of his time on NCIS. The Freaky Friday character played by Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon made an appearance on Freaky Friday in the role of Ryan Volvo, Jamie Lee Curtis's fiancée Tess Coleman. Because her father passed away a few years prior, Lindsay Lohan's character Anna struggles throughout the narrative to accept the couple's connection. Given how happily Ryan and Tess's story ended, we would anticipate Harmon appearing in Freaky Friday 2 if things go as planned.